we're talking about Vera Rubin. Now she became interested in astronomy at 10 years old when she started watching the stars from her bedroom window. She went on to graduate from Vassar College in 1948 with a major in astronomy, the only person to do so. She went on to get a master's and a PhD in this field. However, during this period, she faced a lot of backlash from being a woman in STEM. She will later team up with astronomer Kent Ford in the 1960s, who had developed an advanced spectrograph, which attaches to a telescope and takes the light that has traveled from space and splits it into different wavelengths, allowing scientists to analyze that light and see how it interacts with its surroundings. While these two were observing galaxies, they discovered a inconsistency between the observed mass and the rotational speeds because the outer part of the spiral was traveling just as fast as the center. But the amount of mass the galaxy presents wasn't enough to keep these sections from flying off. So they concluded that there must be something else present with enormous amount of mass that is able to provide this additional gravity that has to be present. This led the team to gather evidence for the theory of dark matter, which was first proposed in 1933, but was rejected until Rubin and Ford produced their evidence, which is now known as the Rubin and Ford effect. As Rubin explained, in a spiral galaxy, the ratio of dark to light matter is about a factor of 10, which probably is a good number for the ratio of our ignorance to knowledge. We're out of kindergarten, but only in the third grade. For her contributions to science, she has won many awards. She was elected to the National Academy of Science. She even has an asteroid named after her. And in 2019, the first national U.S. observatory was named after her. It is designed to map the Milky Way and explore dark energy and dark matter, survey the solar system, and explore the transient sky. So I hope you learned something today, and thank you for joining me. And remember that for all womankind, the sky is not the limit, just the beginning.